a vibrant blue so you can see it is modded I'm not gonna show you so I'm going so late it is modded yeah good morning good afternoon from niche 24 how is everyone doing today so today I picked up this PSP it was all part of a lot it's a vibrant blue so basically they call this the carnival colors very funny name there's about four colors here yeah? I'll leave a pick up in the video so I can see them so it's a pretty neat PSP it's a PSP 3004 model and it's the blue version as I said very neat I don't know if you can see it there's some light scratches on the screen here yeah? but for its age I say it's about 80% condition as a common issue with PSPs battery door is loose so I just got some clear tape on it but otherwise it's in like excellent condition came with a 4 gigabyte memory card it came with this game here everything works in it this is not the pop-up style one you have to actually open it with this little tab pretty it's not as loud as the first model as well I did have a first model I'll put up some pics of it as well that's where I learned modding and modded that one that one was like a disaster first one ever it didn't come with a battery it didn't come with anything only a charger and a PSP no memory card nothing so I had to get a battery I got one of those adapters got a 32 gig memory card and then I got uh, it modded I learned from Blaine there's guy Tech James Mario there's so many guys there out there man but if you want me to do a video I can do a video guys so everything does work on it and here this this try going crazy let's put the volume up low now I can do some stuff here while I chat about it and came with the charger it's an aftermarket charger but it does the work original 4 gig Sony memory card uh, I did mod this right, this has 6.61 infinity formula I'm used to the 6.60 that I can do it like two months it's done this one you have to go on the PC then you have to go back on the PSP then go back on the PC move a file then come back here and do another two installs here to get it on the uh, Pro 6.1 infinity there's one that takes so long to takes like about five minutes to install the flasher I'll show you the infinity firmware system settings system information as you can see 6. Point firmware got some custom themes here as well that I downloaded pretty nice themes changes the whole thing around that's cool so is it worth it getting a PSP in uh, 2023 yes and no if you are a collector and you want the original PSP yes go for it get it if it's cheap enough if you're a casual gamer get it it's not a lot of money you can get ones for pretty cheap this one cost me came in a lot like 20 20 20 dollars exact which was like 400 rand of my money and came with a memory card the thing the charger everything and everything works here the game everything uh, what else let's see if you are an experienced gamer you've got better choices out there get a Vita for what you're gonna pay for this year in this condition you gotta get a Vita get a Vita mod it you're good to go you can play PSP games on the Vita as well get a switch 
Steam Deck, the ROG, the Aces, there's so many choices of handhelds out there. And you can just play, play, play and play. But if you're a collector and you just want this in your collection, if you find one cheap enough, get it. If you probably want to get your children into it, it's cheap enough. I sell these mods, I do it like two, two to four a month, maybe one a week. Charge like about ten dollars. Put ten free games. I do the mod, everything. A lot of people come for that there. So, for the children. But if is it worth it? Internet doesn't work. You have to put your router on a lower security level, which I did do on the first one. I learned all my stuff on that first one how to do everything, strip it, build it again everything I learned on that there so I know on these ones I'll be good <laughs> no problems I should be good and first these ones I don't have to open in good condition but this I will actually sell it as I do resell and I will probably sell it for around hey, this I leave some images on from eBay what they sold for like for hundred dollars these are selling for I picked this up for 20 even if I do the mod with a 64 gig memory card and adapter it's still gonna cost me like $40 I can double my money easily so if it doesn't sell I will do that mod I've got the memory card the adapter I will do it and I will keep it in my collection if it sells it sells I do have Vita models I've got another one black one like this here but I like this color here it's an, for its age and excellent I was like pretty shocked and everything works on it as well can you hear that noise here yeah? let's see I'll show you some of the my games I just put a few games because it's only 4 gig but my other one I'll show you pictures of it as well at Sega at Nintendo uh, what else I had there Yes, so many emulators I had there. Got Grand Theft Auto, a Bomberman, it's bowling, some small games. This is like a racing bike game. Dragon Ball, this is a nice game. Alpha, and well, there's the update. So many that. And 6.6, .6, so you just have to do this update here. And it goes 6.6. So this one you have to do this here. Go back onto the PC. If on the PC move another file, then you have to do these three installers here as well to get your 6.61 information to stay here. And as well, so, so these are on the memory card, there's no disk on there. So we will open this here. All right, this is plain st straight off the memory card. You can see there's a light will flash here. Now you can see it over here it's flashing or not flashing I can't see anything now or oh, it loaded I think now maybe but you see this light here flashing so this is playing off the memory card the graphics are pretty decent here the for some games uh, you can play music pictures videos and do some hectic compression and all yeah to get it going but it will work Let's show you some. This is off the this is of the memory card. This is a pretty good game. Pretty good looking game. Let's see. Saving. Let's see. Dragon Road Arcade. That thing was easy. I know choose easy. That thing was easy. <laughs> Don't judge. As you can see, it looks pretty decent. It's like basically a PS1 in your pocket. I've also did the uh, PS1 games on here as well. I've done, I'll show you some pics of it as well. Yeah. I'm cool. All right, let's see. So you can see, it's pretty nice. Have some fun. Play around. But if you want to learn, and basically just experiment yourself modding which is easy get a cheap one do it or if you want to get a good one get a good one invest in it mod with it and 
it's worth it in that sense. But in my opinion, if I had to go buy this, as being gaming from the 2000s, from PC, it was 8-bit cartridges, when I'm going to PlayStation 2, I wouldn't buy this. If it's $100, I'm not going to buy this. I'd rather buy a beta. But if I find one cheap, like this one, I got, I got it cheap. Then, yeah, that that's fine for experienced person. But in 2023, I won't get this here to, for my money. I'd rather get a beta or something else and have better graphics. Plus, I, I won't play with this here on the screen because... I really like, I play all my games on the, on the big screen. I not even a monitor. I like my my TV to play it because I sit from a distance and I play. And I'm happy with it. Long as it does, there's no stutters, everything works smoothly. I'm happy with it. So, if you are an experienced person and you just want your collection, yeah, it's cool. If you a casual person, it's also cool. Uh, if you want to invest so much money in it for 2023, not so good. Because remember, you still have to get the adapter. You, know, you do get the ones that model with a little extra money, like probably about $110, $120. They already modeled, but the mod is so easy and the memory card is like so cheap. The adapter is like $5. The memory card is like probably what? Another maybe $10. So if you pick one up for say $40 or $50, for $65, $70, you got one, modded everything. And yeah, but if you just want something to fool around with, have fun, I say go for it. But otherwise, I I won't go for it. Unless you get a really good one, cheap. That's the only thing I'll want to get. Get it cheap enough, yeah, I'll go for it. Get it decent condition as well otherwise let's see memory stick 4 gig yeah so the camera you need an external stuff here yeah? let's see photos photo 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 let's see i've got some need for speed cards here yeah? so it does uh, play as you can see need for speed cards and I've got some music. The music I'm going to have to put that on. See now, where is that music? You know, when you look for music, let's see, put the volume right down because YouTube will copyright it. Let's see, I'll just put a few just to test it. Let's see, I'll let's see, play. I'll play like a few seconds. Yeah, okay, oh, sorry man. <laughs> you need headphones for it. <laughs> for God. Anyway, you can see it's playing here. Yeah? 34. Where is it now? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, you don't need headphones. My bad, I forgot. So that's it for that sound test. Yeah, you can see everything works but yeah you know for me it's a no for you guys it could be different as i say i gave my opinions why you want it don't want it experience unexperienced what you can do with it uh, what else and you can see it is modded i'm not gonna show you sorry i'm going so late it is modded here yeah? as you can see i put it a bit late but it's here yeah. <laughs> so yeah decent decide what to do but is it worth it in 2023 for me no you can pay. see what you want and decide anyway guys niche 24 out